<sighs> gotta get situated here. All right, shoot. Okay, so you're, right. gonna, you're gonna um, don't don't freak out, but <laughs> um, while you were in the bathroom, I'm gonna freak out. I I swear to God, I saw that American flag move. Uh, I want to look back, but I kind of don't want to look it's, back. There's there's nothing there that I can see now, but it's like it, it just. It didn't like across the room or anything, but it just kind of twitched, and it was so creepy. Hmm. <laughs> it was. It was. It was bad. It was. It was. It wasn't like some big, you know. Rah! Yeah, no. It was. Just, it was just. It was just enough to where you could notice it. Yeah. Hmm. So. Well, and, I want... Anyway, let's let's get off of that subject and get to your ghost story because that's what this video is about. I well, just thought I might let you know, you know. Well, thanks for telling me that, but right now I don't really want to tell my story. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna. Yeah. Um. The viewers came here to hear a story, so you better tell. We'll them. tell. We'll tell that story some other time because <laughs> I'm legit right now. Like I, I'm not sure if I even want to freaking. <sighs> well, you're gonna tell it anyway because you just got pranked. <laughs> <laughs> Your flag didn't move. You're so gullible. <laughs> Nothing happened while you're in the bathroom. <laughs> that's why. That's why you want my reaction. <laughs> yeah. That's why you want my freaking reaction. I'm such a pansy. So anyway, about the story. <laughs> Dude, like, oh my gosh, when I was, oh, that makes me angry now. <laughs> because you were legitimately freaked out. Yeah, and yeah, you, because and when now I you was... can't forget about it. <laughs> yeah, now I, oh, dang it, because, like, all right, <laughs> I went to go pee, came back, you told me, hey, I gotta tell you something, but we're gonna wait till record it. So I was like, okay, I was getting my food the entire time. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she saw something move. For the entire time, I thought, like, this moved back and forth like that. So then I, I was like, said that. oh gosh. That would have been yeah. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so then, damn it. I, I was hoping, I was hoping, please just say something that happened to you and not me. To you and not me. To you and not me. Uh, uh, damn it. <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty good. Oh, man. Uh, well, now I, now I feel comfortable freaking telling about okay, it. Okay, let, let me get a drink. And uh, if you see something move, then mm mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Uh, right now, you just left a recording. I, I don't know what to talk about. All right, how was your dick? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope you heard that. I hope you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> so about the scary story. All right. <clears throat> All right, everybody, let's have an applause for what is going to be the greatest story ever. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so here in Colorado, we have a nice place called <clears throat> Gold Camp Road. If you don't know about Gold Camp Road, it is located in Manitou Springs, and Manitou Springs is known for being the number one witch location in America. They've caught the most witches, or something like that. And uh, there's a bunch of creepy shit that goes on. So, Gold Camp Road is a uh, road <clears throat> that was carved out of the mountains, and it has like three tunnels. <clears throat> Dang it, my voice is screwing me up. It has a total of three tunnels 
that are said to be haunted. And the stories have been going on and everything. They're, they're like, it's not the only location that has haunted crap going on. But it, it's one big one, not gonna lie. <sighs> um, so, me and my buddies, we all decided to go up to um, Gold Camp Road one night. Because we were all getting into this ghost ghostly activity stuff. <sighs> and then we were like, okay, let's, uh, let's do this crap. Yeah. So we planned it, and um, we did a little bit of research on it. We saw what other people had to say about it. They said like, "Oh, you can hear footsteps in it. You can you can see an old time rusty car driving back and forth, and like stupid stuff like that." Um, so it was me and four other guys. We were all jam packed in a small ass car. I have no idea why. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember who it was. Uh, anyways, that's not important. Uh, one night we were we all gathered at uh someone's house, and we were all gonna take one car up, and then um like I wanted to be, we all got our flashlights and shit all ready. I wanted to be safe, and I brought a hiking backpack because back in uh. Uh, those hills are pretty rough, and I and it's just like you know, just be safe because I'm a I'm a nerd like that, you know. Anyways, <clears throat> we got our flashlights all ready and stuff. We went to uh, we went to Falcon, got some flashlights, one dollar flashlights. We got some food, then came back up, and we decided to uh, video record it the entire time. Uh, we tried that for a little bit. As we were driving up there, it didn't quite work, and then. Uh, my experience, what happens, you're in town, you go from town into the mountains a little bit, the road is just like, you know, a regular old road, nothing big, nothing bad or anything. On our way to it, now you gotta understand, we were all pretty like sketched out, we were ready for anything to happen. On our way to the road, um, <clears throat> we saw like a little orb on the very side of the road, and it kept getting closer and closer as we were driving. And then all of a sudden, it was a raccoon. <laughs> and so we all freaked out about that. We were like, oh man, oh man. And then raccoon, they were like, aw, shit, we're dipshits. <laughs> and then um, it was like casual road all the way till. And then <clears throat> there was a total of three tunnels. The first tunnel, it's long as hell. The second tunnel, it's a little bit of a curve. The third tunnel was locked off. Uh, because um, it was structurally unstable, so they uh, locked it off so no one will get hurt or anything like that. And the rumor has it that it was the most haunted out of all three of the tunnels. So we were all th we were all like doing our research and stuff, and we all decided, you know what, we're gonna go to that third tunnel and get inside it and have some activity. And that's why I brought my uh, my uh, hiking backpack because. Um, you get to through the first tunnel and second tunnel by car. After the second tunnel, there's a uh, pathway that you have to hike on. You can't take your vehicle up there. You actually have to hike on it, which is a bitch and a half. But um, so yeah, I brought my hiking backpack. We all planned that, and uh, we're driving up there. We're getting in a whole bunch of thick tree line and everything. We were all like getting ready to get the shit scared out of us. And all of a sudden, we kept on going. We could not find, for the life of us, any of the tunnels because it was so damn long. We like hit a fork in the road. We had to turn back. We had to go back three spaces. We had to pick up a chance card. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we get to uh, the first tunnel and it sneaks up on you totally by random. It's like you go here, you take a cur you take a turn, and then boom, long ass tunnel. Right when we got to that tunnel, all of us, all five of us, were like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are you guys ready for this? Woo, we're going to get the shit scared out of us. We all did that, and then we slowly drove through it, trying to get some type of activity. We didn't really get any anything, except for when we looked to the left of us, there was blood all over the walls, and all of us were like freaking out, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But then it was just paint, because... Uh, a guy that was with us brought up a good point that um, 
blood dries black instead of red, so we all kind of felt like dipshits after that. Went, <laughs> so we went to, through the first one, and let me, let me mention, this is a sketchy road, a dirt road with shitty railings on the side. Actually, no, it only had like one railing, and it was shit. Trust me, it was built like in 1932 or something like that. <laughs> um, and we got to the second tunnel, and the second tunnel wasn't as long as the first one because of uh, it was just the tiny, dinky one that had a curve. But it was said that the second tunnel was more haunted than the first one. And uh, we were all like, okay, you know what? On the, our way back, we're going to stop in each one of these tunnels. And we're going to hang out in the car like that. And then we were all like, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, still pretty antsy. We get to where you had to park in order to hike up to the third tunnel. And on the third tunnel, what? No, where, where we had to park, um, we decided to get some baby powder because we heard some. Uh... Oh, my God, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, just just to interrupt your story. Not a problem. My, my door was closed. Like it, it wasn't like all the way closed, but it was like it was you know, it was closed enough to where it would stay closed. And then all of a sudden yeah. it opens up just the slightest bit. And I <laughs> swear my face was like <laughs> and so I got up and I looked and there was nobody there but the door was open. And I was like, Oh god. And then I looked down on the ground, turns out my cat opened it. So I was like <laughs> You go like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> so anyway, back to the story. <clears throat> All right. Um, then we got into the parking area. Uh, excuse me. We got into the parking area, and we heard, as we were doing our research before, we heard if you put baby powder on your car, go away, come back to it, then you... Fingerprints huh? and stuff? You'll yeah, you get to see fingerprints and stuff like that, so we decided to do that. We, like, <laughs> fucking emptied the entire bottle on his car to where it looked like it was snowing, basically. <laughs> we want some evidence, hardcore. Uh, and then we all got out, and we were all ready. We were all psyched. Okay, are you guys ready to see some shit happen? Yeah. All got our flashlights out. We were basically like a little pod, a little group of five, just ready for everything. We got our flashlights and everything looking all over, and... um. As we were all getting out, getting ready for the hike, um, one of the guys was over on... Now, the hill's like this, right? And the parking is, like, a little bit down around here. Act like this is hollowed out. Mm -hmm. The parking was a little bit down right here, and then it goes on that way. He, a guy was sitting right there looking down, like, just enjoying the view. All of a sudden, holy shit, what is that? And then everyone, all at once, all went to where he was looking, except for me because I was, like, trying to put my backpack on, and I was like... Fuck, fuck, fuck. I was trying to run over to see what was going on. They fucking excluded me out of it, which was dumb because I wanted to see it. And right when everyone got there, holy shit, what is that? What is that? They saw two eyes just floating right in front of a tree. And it was creepy as hell because what happened, their eyes, they were, you know, regular eyes like on a normal thing. And then all of a sudden they blinked, faded away. 